Hi, Sister Sunshine here. Welcome back to my video blog. I'm going to talk today about the prophecies of Tyre. This is the second video in a number of video series that I'm doing called Responses to Atheist Questions. These are common questions that I um, am asked when I'm in various chat rooms and that are left on message boards for me and are left in the comment sections of YouTube videos for me. So today I'm going to talk about Tyre. Now the prophet Ezekiel, he was active between about 592 to about 570 BC. He predicted the fate of perhaps uh, one of the strongest seaports in that time in the Mediterranean, Tyre, which was located just north of Israel. And this was a well-known bustling city. His predictions included the following that the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar would destroy the mainland portion of the city of Tyre. He talks about this in Ezekiel 26 and 8. He states that many nations would attack Tyre in verse 3, that Tyre would be made a bare rock in verse 4, that fishermen would spread their nets on that rock in verse 5, that debris from the city would be thrown into the water in verse 12, that Tyre would never be rebuilt in verse 14, that Tyre would never be, quote, found, unquote, again in verse 21. These prophecies were unlikely for such a powerful city, yet these were all fulfilled precisely as they were given. Three years after the prophecy was made, Nebuchadnezzar laid siege to the mainland city of Tyre. Now, 13 years after the stage began, the siege began, it lasted from 585 to 573, the city fell to Babylonian control. However, when the gates of the mainland city were finally broken down, the Babylonians found it basically deserted. The inhabitants had virtually all fled to the island of the city of Tyre. This was located about half a mile in, half a mile off the coast. Now, when, once they got there, they continued to stay there for several hundred years. The Babylonians destroyed the mainland city, and that fulfilled the first prediction. Nebuchadnezzar's army was made up of soldiers from many nations. This fulfilled the, the second prediction. Now, successive attacks by later nations also fulfilled this. Alexander the Great attacked Tyre during his campaigns also. He scraped the ruins of the destroyed mainland city into the sea to create a large causeway in order to lay siege to the island city. This fulfilled the predictions of number three and number five. The bare rock that remained is still used by fishermen for spreading their nets out. This fulfilled prediction number four. There is a city called Tyre and it exists to this day, but it's not the same one as the old city. The site remains of the old city as bare rock along the coast. Nor does the prominence of the current city begin to rival the prominence of the ancient city of Tyre. This fulfills the sixth prediction. Finally, though one would hardly think that such a great city would never be found again in the sense of being found in its previous extravagance and glory, this city has certainly remained lost and it shows every sign of continuing in this condition. All of these prophecies came true, impl implying that God did indeed inspire the Bible. There's a lot more about the fulfillment of not only the prophecies of Tyre, but many, many other prophecies that were fulfilled in the Bible. I'm just giving you just, just a little tiny bit. Feel free to look on the internet. There's tons of books out there. An easy to find one is Haley's uh, Bible Handbook. There's Bible Dictionaries. Thompson Chain Reference Bibles, Google searches. Take a look for yourself. A lot of people will tell you that these things either didn't come true or haven't been fulfilled or things, the Bible doesn't say this or the Bible doesn't say that. But once you actually start doing the research for yourself, you'll find out that the Bible so far has fulfilled its prophecies. So far, we're right on time. And so is God. God bless you and God keep you.
Bye-bye.